Things are living and things are growing on the roof today. Always living and growing and the flowers look amazing. Oh That's man, and you know the flowers are bringing the pollinators. Yes. We got the butterflies coming, yeah. we got the birds coming, so it's going down. Which is magical because when you're downstairs, right. we're in Skid Row. And you know, it's a very intentional space that has been ignored on purpose. And so being able to grow food in this space, I mean, that's everything. I think you named it surface level what, we're, what we get to experience is all of the organized abandonment. Right? Yeah. But on the rooftop, we're able to elevate in so many other ways. And not just simply coming up the stairs, but mm -hmm. you know, walking on a <laughs> rooftop and just breathing fresh air. Mm -hmm. Much like many other um, low-income communities, access to fresh fruits and vegetables right. is slim to none. Right. You know, it's important to have this space here. It's important to be able to have these gardens to grow and to be able to just relax. There are so many ways to bring nature and plants into urban industrial areas. But one issue that troubles every rooftop farmer is access to water. I, <laughs> I remember when I was here and I was watering things by hand using city water. And one time I left the hose <laughs> oh, so now you tell. That was the bill that I was like, what happened? This is the high water bill. But, but I have these friends, they have a similar setup. Now they're really focused on trying to figure out how to bring water to their garden in a way that isn't going to drive their water bill through the roof. I want to check in with Pete about some exciting technology from a company called Skywell that has totally changed Pete's water game. As long as there's 27% relative humidity in the air, this large machine creates 100 gallons of water per night, right? And so when you're in a, when you're in a region like Los Angeles that's, you know, adjacent to the ocean, yeah. there's always going to be at least 27% uh... relative humidity in the air. Okay. And so we built a reservoir and we just started using water from the clouds to actually feed our gardens. An atmospheric water generator uses technology to collect water from the air. Fans pull air over a cooling coil, which prompts condensation. The water droplets are collected and filtered for drinking or watering gardens. The collected water can be stored in a reservoir and hooked up to a drip irrigation system that's set on a timer. So this means that you're not on public city right. water. So with the current setup that we have, we are using some, we're using 50% less wow. okay. uh, water, that's right? Significant. And, and that's significant yeah, that is. in a place like Los Angeles. That's, that's right. amazing. My friends at Bluma, they are just pumping their water from a lower level up to yes. their rooftop farm. And I mean, that's running their electricity bill up and it's just difficult. It's hard on their system. You have to make it as easy and as comfortable for folks to garden, because mm -hmm. if, if ease and comfortability is not there, the garden will die. Right. Farmers know, right, and urban farmers know all too well that the cost of, you know, of running a garden, the highest cost is the, the water. The water, yeah. And then the water that is being harvested, is that drinkable water? Oh yeah. You can bathe in it, you can cook in it, <laughs> and it's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> it's locally sourced. I mean, Man, how many can say that? How local? Yeah, yeah. This is my water right here. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm about to drink you later, yeah, right? Yeah. So yeah. That's so cool. In Skid Row, I mean, there's no water in Skid Row. There's no real facilities for people to use. There's no drinking water. So for us to be able to offer this, as a place for people to come, a destination for people to come and get fresh, clean water is amazing. I mean, that's a game changer that's for right. us. That's incredible. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, I'd love to try some downstairs. Yeah, 100%. Check it out.